So as the cold front passed today, our temperatures, of course, dropped down a bit, finally below average. 84 was our high today after that morning low of 74. So we should, climatologically speaking, be around 89 and 71 for an average this time of year for an average high 89 degrees. So we've had a lot of 90 degree days so far this season. We have had 36 90 degree or warmer days, you know, on an average year for the entire year, we usually have 37. So we're just one day short of having the average number of 90 degree or warmer days. And so we're definitely going to have more. We have uh, the rest of the summer to get to. We have another uh, all the way through July, all the way through August and then halfway through September until fall begins. So we have plenty of time to see those 90 degree temps. So far, the hottest temperature this year has been 95 degrees. We had that on July 2nd and of course on July 4th when all of your favorite 11 Alive personalities are out there at the Peachtree Road Race and they're having to work out there in that 95 degree heat. So we have not had one 100 degree day yet. No triple digit heat. That is the hottest we have been so far this year. 95 degrees. So Overall, we just haven't had the extreme heat, but we have been consistently above average by around three or four degrees, really since the beginning of the summer and meteorological summer, which would be June 1st. We have been above average by three to four degrees. So what we're looking at the next five days, we're going to keep it in the 80s. It is going to be pretty comfortable just below the seasonal norm of 89 degrees so we can enjoy this drier, cooler regime while it lasts anyway.